A little over a hundred miles north lies the Hebridean island of Col. Just off the west coast of Scotland, it's home to some rare and precious sea life. You get porpoises, bottlenose dolphins, common seals, minke whales, and a whole host of seabirds here. But also, from May to October, these waters become home to the enigmatic basking shark, the UK's biggest fish. And that's because at this time of year, conditions are perfect for the plankton they feed on to flourish. Today, I'm hoping to have an encounter with one of these enigmatic animals. Marine biologist Shane Wasik is an expert on basking sharks, so if anyone can track one down, he can. How's it going? Yeah, good. Ooh. How are you? <laughs> really good. Where are we heading out today, then? Uh, so we're just starting here, just in Arnagower, uh, in the bay, and we're going to head straight out there and probably down to the right towards the south end of Col, and that's known as a really good hotspot for the basking sharks. All right, let's go. Let's head out there. Sweet. We've got a lot of plankton in the water, and you can see ahead of us there's a tide line here, and that's where the concentrations of plankton occur. And so what am I looking for out in the water? What's a telltale yeah, so sign? Because they can be confused with... Yeah, it becomes really difficult. But once you see a shark fin, there's something in the back of your brain that tells you that's definitely a shark. <laughs> Basking sharks spend much of their lives feeding deep in the oceans, but from May until late October, these waters become filled with plankton blooms that are closer to the surface, and that attracts the sharks. How do they find this stuff? It has been said that their brain is quite small compared to their nervous system that is linked to smell, so okay. they do think they can um, basically sniff these out, but they're not a visual predator like a great white shark would be, for example, who, who have really good eyesight and they, you know, they swim along looking for seals. So mm -hmm. these areas will be obviously given off um, certain signatures with smells and various things, so they may be able to detect that from a, from a distance away. And that's the thing about basking sharks, we still know so little about them. Yeah. They're incredibly mysterious animals, and this is really the only time of the year where you get to study them. A couple of months, when all of this good food is here, yep. you get to see them at the surface. The rest of the time, they're very deep in the water, aren't they? And, yeah, and well, out of sight. one that was um, tagged in, uh, not far from here uh, made its way all the way of Atlantic, and it dived to over 1,200 metres, so, wow, so incredibly deep diving, and yet they're here in the surface um, for the summer months. All we have to do is find an area with plenty of plankton and we should find a basking shark. Oh, oh, what's uh Yeah, there's definitely something there, but it's too far to tell. Oh, dolphins. Dolphins. I mean, we love dolphins, but we don't want dolphins today. They are, yeah. Yes. You can just see the dorsal yes. fin sticking up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is a big dorsal fin of a shark. Awesome sight. I've been so looking forward to this. But now that I've seen even the size of the fin, I can imagine what goes underneath that, how yeah, big that exactly, body is. Yeah. We have had people come to cure their fears of sharks, and I oh, guess really? they were part of the, the Jaws generation. Oh. But these are the gentle giants of the oceans. Basking sharks pose no threat to humans. In fact, they prefer to avoid the noise of our boats. So to get really close, we're going to have to get in. It's right there, it's right there. Okay, that's right here, so we need to get in right now. Just hold on to the side and just slip in the water really quietly, really gentle. Okay, okay are you ready? Yeah, I am, and I just follow you, yeah? This is my very first encounter with a basking shark. These gentle giants are the second largest fish in our oceans. They can be as big as 12 meters in length. Look how cool do they look in our mouth clothes. They've got this really cute little upturned snout. Yeah. He's magnificent. They definitely come an eyeball, yes. Oh, I minutes. totally saw it. Totally was spotting us going, well, who are you? What are you doing in my larder? Once hunted for their meat and liver oils, basking sharks are now a protected species in British waters, but sadly, they are still hunted elsewhere. It's great to know they can be safe here. Knowing that they migrate such vast distances now, though, what does it mean about the protection around the globe when they do travel thousands of miles across the Atlantic? Yeah, for example, in Southern Ireland, they don't have the same protection. And yeah. uh, 
really their sharks without borders because they cross huge distances across the Atlantic. So in essence, okay, they're protected here, but is there any point when they're not protected far out to sea and through sharing pictures and videos, you know, then people get to appreciate it and, you know, then they can understand that they need to be conserved rather than targeted. They're so beautiful. How is that? They're just so beautiful. They're so. magnificent creatures. It's really hard to put into words what that feels like, just, just being in the presence of something so huge, yeah. just slowly moving through the water like that. Because in the surface you get the size of the fin, but then underwater you get to see the whole <laughs> thing, the, and they are chunky. <laughs> chunky is the right word. But thank you so much for allowing me into that, that beautiful, enlightening window that oh, is snorkeling with basking sharks. Put it there. Cheers. Thank you so much.